What's up, yo? What's up, what's up? My ball as well. Uh, kind of a word for you guys for real. Um, I'm gonna book a Hebrew today. If you got, hope, hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I'm gonna try to make this quick. I'm sitting in a fast food area. You know, you kind of, you know, when people start reading the Bible poems, you kind of scare people away. <laughs> but when, when you think about it, there's no demons are afraid of, afraid of the word of God, and they're afraid of angels. So they definitely don't like light. So um, when people get uncomfortable, when you, when it has something to do with God, you see people get uncomfortable. That's just the spirit that's on that person. That's making that person uncomfortable. So don't take it personal when you are uh, someone. Somebody seem like they're uncomfortable or creeped out because you, they see you pull out a Bible. You know, don't let it get to you. Just ignore it. But um, the times that we're in, um, it's gonna the times that's, that's gonna be coming in the events. You know, um, people, man and woman, I think they're going to be tried and tested in these last days. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to read um, Hebrews chapter 12. And I'm going to start from verse 3. So, it, says, um, it says, For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself. To say, Thus ye be worried and faint in your minds. Ye have not resisted unto blood striving against sin. It says, and ye have not, it says, if ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son, despise not thou chastening of the Lord, nor faint, where there are rebuke of him. So the, so the things that Jesus Christ has been through, his faith was tried, everything was tried because of men. The same thing he was being, you know, persecuted for, was the same thing that, that the world was doing. So uh, even if people try to single you out, try to persecute you, revile your name, try to uh, destroy your image, or try to slander you, mock you, there's no Jesus. There's nothing that anything we've been through. Jesus has been through it all. He put, un, he put, he placed everything on his feet. He subdued everything, all powers, all enemies, all demons. He subdued it on his feet for you and me. Um, so, you know, taking a stride. Just know, if, if Jesus has been through it, we're gonna go through it too. And especially if we um. If we're, if we're real believers of Christ and God is going to test our faith, He's going to test our loyalty. You know, it's, it's not going to everything of it is not going to be, it's not going to feel good. But you're going to go, you're going to go through people accusing you, accusations, slander, mockings. You know, people trying to stone you for minor situations, trying to make you seem like you're the bad guy. So um, it says, "Ye have not resisted unto blood striving against sin." It's saying, "Ye have forgotten exhortation." So God wants to exhort our brothers and sisters. And um, Satan doesn't want us to exhort people. So God wants us to keep our mouth, our mouth closed. He wants us to be afraid to speak the word and spread the word. And really, it's the benefit of, of, of souls. That's what it's all about. Because after you leave this life, you only go, it's only two places you're going to. That's either heaven or hell. And you don't, you don't, you don't want nobody burning hell for eternity. Um, so, yeah, we, it's time for us to, to take a stand and speak the word, regardless of how the world try to put them. And um, no matter what projection the enemy try to put in your mind, so we gonna stick. We gonna have faith, regardless. We gonna have faith, regardless of what's going on. And um, it says, for whom, it says for whom the Lord loveth and chastises and scourges every son of his So we're gonna be chastised. Chastisement is like punishment, or like you know, going through trials and tribulation, and it doesn't feel good. So um, every trial and tribulation you might find yourself going through. God has a purpose for it, and God is going to even use your enemies to to, uh, to, to push you forward and to push you and put you in um in a rightful destination in life. So you know you might be some people might some people are in prison right now for things they shouldn't be in, or they might be getting punished more than they should be. Of course, because Satan sees you know God in them, and um you know God is going to strengthen that person and use use that person's story. To brighten the whole world up, to save other people from the same destruction that they, they found themselves in. Because you know, we all make minor decisions that put us in situations, and then we find ourselves our back against the wall. And the only person that can get you out of those type of situations is God, you know? And um, so if, if God chastises you, take it all in joy. Just know that means you're not of the world, and He, and he, and he, uh, he, he uh, cherishes you and scores you. So when men scores you, Try to hurt your feelings, try to destroy you, and even almost kill you. Just know that you're not of the world, and don't let, don't be afraid of death, and don't have, don't let fear dwell in your spirit, because that's one, that's the main um, attack and the main tactic of the enemy. 
Yeah, he operates off his fear. And we we not gonna as long as we living in this world, don't let don't let um the spirit of fear plant a seed. That's the negative seed. Don't let him um sow that into your heart. So you you uproot that. It says whatever the Lord it's a scripture, it says whatever the Lord has not planted, let it be uprooted. So you uproot that seed. You uproot it by the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's yeah, we're not letting we're not letting anything we not letting that Satan put fear in us we walking with us with our sword, with the word of God, we picking up our cross every day. Um, it's a sacrifice. We, we turn away from our old ways and we walk the straight and narrow. And that's the only way you're gonna be reserved in these last days. Um, it's a description about it says the Lord preserves the, the righteous for the righteous he preserves their souls. And for the wicked, they should be cut off. So the wicked they will be cut off. No matter what they think they're doing to you, they'll be cut off for, for the things they're doing to you. So that's why God wants us to pray for those people because after they get cut off, that's it. There's one destination for those type of people. And um, it says, but if ye be without chastisement, wherefore are all partakers? Then are ye bastards and not sons. So these people who are not going through chastisement, as you know for sure, they're yeah, doing way more worse things than you. They're not God's children. They're damned already. They're already damned. So they're, da they're, ha they're in damnation and they're going to a place that's not, um, that's really not pleasant. And if, if it's possible, God wants us to really put on a um, presentation, an image, and walk just like Christ did so that these people will be saved. Because God will shame these same folk who, who go around trying to hurt people's feelings. So that can even be people you grew up with that, that, that betrays you, you know, talk bad on your name, or um, try to hurt your feelings, crush your pride. And um, God knows the calamity that's going to touch those people. So don't, don't, um, don't, don't find joy in that destruction when it, when it comes among these people. Don't rejoice. God said don't rejoice over the destruction of, of your enemies. So don't never do that. And um, it says, it says, but if ye be with our chest on with all, all partakers, then ye are bastards. So these people are bastards. They're not God's children. These people who are not um, going with what you and me are going through. So we, we go through more than the average person because we're of God. With the children of God, and that's His grace and His mercy. I mean, you, see, you see, God doesn't. We don't choose God. God chooses us. So God has His chosen and elect people that He has chosen to face trials and tribulations to go through. It's all been predestinated. So everything that we go through, He already knew was going to happen to us. He already knew we was going to make the wrong decisions or, or, or be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and He turned those same situations around for our good. So there's nothing that He can't do. It says, uh, furthermore, we have our fathers of our flesh, which corrected us. If we gave them reverence, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto, unto the Father of spirits and, and live? So, let's give reverence. It says, and we gave them reverence, shall not we much rather be in subjection? So let's be in subjection to the righteousness of God and not be sub, um, subjected under, under the law of sin, of the flesh. Let's not be, let's, let's try our best to... Um, Raise, raise above of being subjected to sin and of the flesh, because you know if you subject under the under the um, sin and, a, and a, under the law of the flesh, you know it's, 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 it's a dark place because you will um, find yourself in a situation where it won't be no way out. Versus the people that's you know under God's wing, God said He will never give you more than you can bear. He'll always make a way of an escape. So allow God. To let you allow the, the process, whatever you want to, whatever battle, whether it's mental, whether it's psychological, whether it's financial, whether it's spiritual, whether it's physical, face your head up with the word of God, and with faith and girding your loins with, 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 with the belt of truth, and put on the breastplate of righteousness, and taking on the helmet of salvation, put on your armor, because it's a spiritual battle. The enemy is shooting arrows, arrows of fear, arrows of stagnancy, arrows of poverty. Arrows of delay to keep you not keeping in one position. So some people can't find, a, can't figure out the reason why they can't get a job or why they can't, um, you know, move forward in life because his evil is in as well. Uh, so that's another reason why God said not to not to intertwine with people who have the Jezebel spirit or Delilahs. So Delilahs are, are women who do not respect God, they don't worship God. So that's people, of course, that like like women that like to shake. You know, like to go, go to the clubs, women that uh, drink every day and like to, you know, have sex with multiple um, partners. Stay far away from those type of women. Don't shame them, but stay far away from those women. 
because those women are used by Satan and they will corrupt your soul and have you in bondage. They will have you in bondage. And um, this is a, it says, for the rarely few, or few days. Matter of fact, let me go back. And these are the type of things that we're going to go through in, this, in these last days. It says, I said, and other, others had trials of cruel mockings and scourgings, yet more, moreover of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, and were tempted, they were slain with the sword. They wandered about in, cheap, in, about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. I said, 38, of whom, this is 37 and 38 of chapter 11 of Hebrews. It says, of whom the world was not worthy, they wandered in dust, deserts, and in mountains, and in dens, and caves of the earth. So these are people that's really, they're, they're exiled by God, these people. People that's wandering in the mountains and things like that. It says, uh, it says in the den of caves of the earth, and these all, having obtained a good report through faith, and received not the promise. God had, God having provided some better things for us, that they without us, without us should not be made perfect. So, um... We're gonna go through temptation. We're gonna be um, um judge. We're gonna we're gonna try to condemn you. When the only God can condemn you. Who can write who can who can condemn God's elect? Not Satan, not people, not man. So you you you, you refute every evil judgment, every evil word by the account of the blood of Jesus Christ. Because the blood the blood of Christ has the top, the top authority over any voice that's trying to condemn you. You know. Once you saved by God and once you repent. You can't get, you can't be condemned anymore. So you, you stand up to Satan, and you, you go head up with him. So, and, the, and some people have lost their lives, um, you know, sacrificing for the Lord, and that's what it, it, it has. It is what it is for certain people. But um, God has a purpose for each and every one of us. But just no death is, it can't compare to heaven, at all. So, so yeah. God bless you guys, and um, before I get off, you know I like to uh, say some scriptures I have to do with salvation. That's what I can find. Hold one second. All right. That you are, my, are the Son of God, that you shed your blood on and blood, you shed your blood and died on the cross for my sins, and was raised from the dead. I admit that I am a sinner. I repent of my sins and ask for your forgiveness. Cleanse me, Lord, of all unrighteousness. Come into my heart and save me. Fill me, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. I surrender my life to you. I, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for my salvation. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, once you do that, you say, and you in there, you know, you know, um, it's a new, it's a new chapter. So, man, pick up your cross and start, um, start living for Christ. And uh, he would do, he would do wonders on you, he would transform you. So, peace, God, y'all blessed.